Okay, so this is just a short demo of uh, Mach 3 controlling this variable speed router I got here. Uh, the router I got set up here is a two and a quarter Hitachi router. I actually had this in my original uh, Joe's machine and it has become the guinea pig for this little test setup. Uh, it's much the same as the other router I'm going to use, which is the Bosch. Um, so basically what I did was, I uh, first of all, I took the router apart, um, disconnected the uh, three leads that was coming from the multi-core cable, uh, and for the purpose of this test, I just ran individual leads uh, to my little uh, AC bus here. Uh, you've got your line neutral and PE. Uh, basically what's going on over here in the terminals is, is I've got my input, uh, 120 volt nominal, uh, power to here, as I said, line neutral and PE. PE and neutral go directly to the router. I take my line to a 16 amp ABB circuit breaker. Uh, this is just for isolation and uh, downstream protection. Uh, the breakers in my house probably aren't very good. Uh, this should uh, do me a lot more justice. Uh, so it's taking a line over through the circuit breaker. It's got thermal and uh, overload protection. Uh, line comes out of the circuit breaker, assuming it's on, uh, and goes and lands on line of my solid state relay. Also a point with the circuit breaker, I'm uh, just showing the single pull circuit breaker. Um, I actually don't have the aux contacts on there, but I do intend to uh, eventually do that. Um, that's something that'll be set up in the actual enclosure for the purpose of the test. I don't really care. Uh, that's what it'll look like with the aux contacts on the breaker. Um, and I will simply use this for monitoring the state of the breaker. Uh, I thought it would be a nice logic to have that if this breaker for any reason tripped or, or faulted, uh, I certainly wouldn't want the machine running around without this router on, freaking break a good bit and destroy the uh, material you're working on, uh, of course you probably do some damage to the machine as well. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. I'll, I'll have this aux contacts mounted on here and that'll be mounted uh, th right next to it and it'll be wired uh, from the aux contacts into my e-stop circuit so that if for any reason this trips, it's going to break that uh, circuit. Mach 3 is going to go into an e-stop condition and uh, that's a beautiful thing. We don't want this uh, router not working and have this machine jogging around while it thinks it's cutting a material. That would be, uh, be a bad thing. Uh, so that's just uh, one little tidbit that I'm going to uh, wire into the actual thing, but it's not really necessary for the purpose of this test. This is a uh, Carlo Gavazzi solid state relay. It's uh, very high quality. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it's mounted on a very stout uh, anodized aluminum heat sink. Um, I know these do get hot. Uh, hopefully it helps to dissipate that heat. Uh, on the other side of the solid state relay, I've got my uh, input from the computer, or output rather, um, and basically I'm outputting 5 volts um, from my smaller relay on board my PMDX122 board, which is, I'll show you, is inside my con controller here, which is a nest because I've been testing uh, a lot with it lately. And uh, you can see i got my leads uh, hanging off, well, a whole bunch of leads hanging off there because I've been playing around with this more than I should because I'm going to rebuild this thing anyways. Uh, basically, I'm coming off of that relay on the uh, normally open side uh, in the relay com, uh, which sends a signal to the solid state relay to switch the state, uh, allowing power from the line to go to the router. And I'll give you a short little demo of that. First of all, let's uh, close the cabinet here. I'm gonna lock this guy up, turn it on. Lights on, we got power. Let's go over to Mach 3. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm in the diagnostics. You can do this from many different screens. Um, I can certainly hin hit spindle uh, toggle. Uh, I think it's kind of cool since I just got this set up and I'm actually going to type the uh, code for it. And there we go. The router's on. Now you can see why I had a clamp there. The thing kind of a, that inrush, uh, even though it's a slow start, it's kind of a crappy slow start and the uh, router picks up real quick. I want to pull off the bench. You can see the router's going. I can change the RPMs normally. And uh, on the way out, we'll hit M5, which will we'll toggle it off. And you'll hear the router just uh, turn off. Uh, of course, the only way for this to work uh, is that the on switch on your router is actually on. If you have it off, it's just going to send power to it. It's going to stop at this point here, uh, which is kind of nice because it's a point of isolation when you're changing, well, when I'm changing the tools. 
uh, it'll be nice because I don't just necessarily have to trust the solid state relay. I can turn this off as an extra added safety precaution, uh, like some have put toggle uh, disconnects right above the router. Uh, this should be just as sufficient for me. Uh, I've been working this way uh, with just the manual power on for, for years, and I've never had an issue with that uh, switch failing while it's changing a tool, or at any point, actually. Uh, so that's my quick little demo. Uh, again, two and a quarter router turned on uh, from Mach 3 with the uh, PMDX122's uh, smaller 10 amp relay, which switches my larger uh, 20 amp relay. Uh, and that's pretty much it, which I should be pretty thrilled not have to turn the router anymore. Also, big thanks to Steve Stallings at uh, PMDX. Uh, PMD, uh, big help, uh, always answering my late night emails. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks, guys.